Hello everyone, today I'm showing off my ultimate bedrock formation finder. Uh, using this tool I created, you can search for any formation of bedrock you want in the overworld or the nether. Uh, it's fast and it's easy to use, uh, so to use it, just download it, uh, double click the jar file to open it, and then I'm going to show you how to use it. So here we have uh, minimum coordinates and maximum coordinates. This basically uh, determines the area you want to search in. So right now I have it go from negative 1,000, negative 1,000 to 1,000, 1,000. So it's a 2,000 by 2,000 area it's searching around the origin. Uh, so yeah, you could do that around your base or wherever you want to search. Uh, this is the formation Y base value. So uh, you have your formation you want to search for. And this is basically the lowest Y value uh, that it's going to, the formation is going to start at, basically. Uh, I got some info here. The nether roof is Y123 to 127. So 123 is the lowest here. And then for the overworld and the nether, the floor is 0 to 4. So you could, using this tool, you could search the nether and the overworld. Uh, you click this button to toggle between it, so I'm searching the nether here, or the overworld. And uh, yeah, you could search the roof of the nether, or even the floor of the nether if you want to, but that probably isn't very useful in most cases. But uh, yeah, so if that's what that's for, you could toggle it here. Uh, here is where you start to create your formation. So you have your base uh, y values, so that's the lowest y value it starts to search at. And then you want to create your formation. So relative to the point it's searching at, it wants to know uh, what locations is either a bedrock or not a bedrock. So we have right here uh, 0, 0, 0 relative to the point it starts searching at. Uh, if we want it to be bedrock, we have it as 1, which is what it is right now. And then to add that to the list of the formation you want to search for it, you just press add chords and here the input has been stored. So I'm going to just create a 3x3 three three that it searches for here. So this has to be 1, 2, 0 and 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, and using this, we create a 3x3 three three area that we search for, which is commonly used for a wither cage. Uh, you, like I said, you could use this to search for any formation you want at all. But for this example, I'm going to use this. And for cr when you create these relative values, they always have to be positive. Uh, yeah, they don't really, like, you don't have to have a negative value to search for. Uh, any formation either you could always have it be positive so that doesn't really matter anyways and it helps to have to create less or create the bedrock for less chunks when it runs the code anyways so that makes it a bit easier okay right here if I press show list it'll show you uh, everything that is the formation it's going to search for so yeah and using this remove chords button you could actually remove a button from that list. See, so I've moved 202. So if I show this again, that'll be gone. Uh, but yeah, we want to add that back. And also, you could search for any, for an area having no bedrock too. Uh, so that could be useful if you don't want to break bedrock and you maybe want to search another roof. But yeah, for this example, I'm going to search the overworld. So I'm going to begin the search. Uh, yeah, it's actually pretty fast to search the 2000 by 2000 considering all that it's doing during that time. You see it's already found a location. I've done this search before and there's four locations total. So, yeah, I'm just going to let it finish. And also, while it's searching, the search is completed nicely. While it's searching, you can... Uh, stop the search and it'll abort the search like it says here so yeah that's pretty much 
how you use it. Hopefully it's pretty self-explanatory. You could search for using this, you could search for any formation you want, and it'll be quite fast. You could even search for rare formations, but you might have to search a larger area for them. Uh, I'll give an example here of, oh, I wanted to explain next about the overworld bedrock. So I said previously in one of my old videos about bedrock formation finding that in the overworld, uh, most, most worlds have the same bedrock, but some don't, like 90% do and some don't. That's actually not true. Uh, to make this tool, I, was, I used the actual Minecraft code uh, how the bedrock generates and apparently uh, like basically it does random calls with a random object to determine if there's bedrock or not so uh, if it does if more random calls are called uh, it can influence whether or not bedrock will generate and it turns out if in a chunk it encounters a sand block and apparently some other variables too but if a block is a sand block it can influence it can do another random call and then that will create different bedrock in that chunk only for the rest of the chunk it generates so if you're in a desert or something or a beach uh, biome then it can make it so that you won't find the same formations but most of the time there isn't a sand block in a chunk anyways so almost all the time all the bedrock in all overworlds is the same, almost always, unless there's a sand block in the chunk uh, yeah, when it generates. So that's how it works actually. Uh, next, yeah, so this tool I think is could be pretty useful. You could search for any formation you want. I'm going to show right here. Here's a 3x6 formation I found. Uh, these coordinates are uh, pretty close to spawn considering how rare this formation is. Uh, yeah, you can, I think this could be useful for, you know, wither cages or even anything other wither killers that you want to make or you could search for any, anything you need a unique formation for, for a unique project that you're working on. So yeah, that's basically it. Bye-bye.